Rice is the most devoured food in the world. There are over 40,000 types of rice. In today's Chef Hacks, we're gonna tackle five so you can cook them at home perfectly every time. Welcome to Chef Hacks. Aloha family, we commence this starchy rice party with the forbidden grain, an ancient China grain. Back in the days, only the upper class can afford this sexy grain. This forbidden greatness is known for its richness in natural antioxidants. One cup, 220 grams of rice, one and three fourth cup, 414 milliliters of stock or water. A dash of sea salt is recommended for flavor town grain. Bring to a boil on high heat, then reduce to a very slow simmer, like so. Look at those tiny bubbles, little tiny bubbles right there. Yes, a little stir. And cover. And let that ancient forbidden greatness simmer for 30 minutes. Family, it's been 30 minutes and the ancient China forbidden greatness is going to stand firm for 10 minutes. And now we fluff this imperial forbidden greatness with a lemon juice extractor. And now for a taste, mm, I already feel the antioxidant flowing through my blood cells and it is magnificent. Mm, very nice. Our ancient grain, the forbidden rice, is complete. And now for our country wild rice, this sexy grain it still has its nutritious brand layer intact and folks say that this grain can improve your heart health and make you a nicer person but you are already awesome one cup 160 grams of country wild rice one and three fourth cup 414 milliliters of water one dash of sea salt slow dancing country wild rice take one this nice slow dance and cover and we'll cook this very healthy for the heart grain for 50 minutes. It's been 50 minutes. We're gonna let it stand for 10 minutes before taking this beautiful lid off. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Look at that country wild greatness. And now we fluff. A taste, that dash of Hawaiian sea salt turned this rice into something magnifico. Mm. And that family is very hot country wild rice. And now for my absolute favorite, this grain, sweet tasting, not like candy. And the nice, beautiful essence of jasmine rice takes me to the patty rice fields of Thailand. If you're a mommy and have a baby in your tummy, this grain is for you. Folic acid, folks, good for baby growth in the mommy's tummy. True story. And it's high in iron levels to help cells produce energy like Red Bull, but without the wings. Wow, that is a very powerful grain. Wash your jasmine rice. Chef Hack family, after washing the rice, drain the rice well with the strainer of your choice. If you don't drain it properly, it will result in soggy rice, no bueno. One and a half cups, 335 milliliters of water, a dash of sea salt for flavor town greatness. We have one cup, 200, and four grams of this fantastic smelling greatness. Bring to a boil on high heat, reduce to a slow dance and cover. Cook for 20 minutes, let it stand for three minutes. The fragrant jasmine has been standing alone for three minutes and it is ready to be fluffed. Jasmine, the beautiful scented grain. Mm. My second most favorite grain in the planet, Aborio Risotto Rice being my number one. And that, folks, will be our next Chef Hack episode, the Risotto. I'm gonna show you folks how we could turn this beautifully smelling jasmine into a very nice risotto. That grain is mwah, magnifico. Jasmine's forbidden country. Brown basmati rice in some parts of India it is called Queen of Perfumed Rice. This Bollywood rock star healthy goodness is very good for the body and can reduce certain types of cancer. For real. Get it toasty in one tablespoon of avocado oil. 
You're more than welcome to put some ghee or butter, one cup, 198 grams of the brown basmati Bollywood greatness. Family, as you can see throughout this chef hack episode, all grains weigh differently due to the grains size. Please note that when you're measuring. One and a half cup, 355 milliliters of water. A dash of sea salt, because blandness is no bueno. You're gonna bring this Bollywood greatness up to a roaring boil on high heat and then reduce, slow simmer, and then recover. And cook for 30 minutes. Once it's off the heat, let it stand for 10 more minutes. Don't take off the lid. It's been 10 minutes. The brown basmati is ready. Let's take a peek. Now we fluff. We taste this magnificent queen of perfumed rice. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like a healthy Bollywood star eating this queen of fragrant rice. Mm. Can't stop. The Bollywood superstar, the queen of perfumed rice, brown basmati. Very nice. Our fifth and final grain, the sushi rice. It's a short grain Japanese rice, easily found here in Hawaii, all over the place, because we love us some sushi and we love our miso beans here in Hawaii. It is critical that these grains are washed until the water is super clear and that they get strained in a strainer properly or you'll end up with savory rice pudding. No bueno. Allow the sushi rice to soak for 15 minutes before cooking. One cup, 236 grams of the fantastic, super califragilistic, sticky sushi rice. One and a half cups, 355 milliliters of water, no salt. As this rice, it gets seasoned at the end while it's cooling. Bring it up to a soft boil. Put these tiny little bubbles in the cup. Family, it's been 20 minutes and we let it stand for 10 minutes. Perfectly done. Sushi rice, still a little sticky, which is perfect, and seasoned. Now that's another episode coming soon. The sushi, ancient and new styles. And that is our sushi rice. Very nice. Stay tuned for our next episode of Chef Hacks, where we take all these beautiful grains and turn them into my ultimate favorite, risotto that will blow your mind. Join us for many more Chef Hacks to come. And to all our subscribers, much love family. We will see you very soon. Please be kind to yourself and each other. God bless. Aloha. If I catch you wearing that white shirt again, I am going to slap the chocolate right off you, boy. Don't, don't hurt me, Grandma. I like my chocolate skin. Yes, ma'am. I'll change my shirt right away. And it's richness in natural oxida, antioxidants. The da 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 antioxidants. It's an accident. This guy, my Spanglish, no bueno. My English is not good looking. Tiny bubbles in my glass. Cat, that's a wrap, folks.